What's up, everyone? It's me, CN Skaima, and welcome to CN Figures. Figures in your house. And for this tour of you, we're going to look at the Fortnite action figure, Inferno. And this figure looks pretty dang good. You can see him inside of his window box with accessories that he comes with. Fortnite right there in the top and the name of the character right there in the bottom, Inferno. And we also get in the top side of the box a picture of him, the name of the game, and his name right there. And right here in the corner, there's the name of the company. It was made by McFallen Toys. And we also get in this side and this side. In the back side, there's all the figures in the set that you guys can collect. And there's really nothing in the bottom side, so enough chatting. Let's take him out. And here's the figure out of his box looking all good. Especially love the red suit that he has all around his body. Not bad what McFarlane Toys done here. Especially love the fire effect that he has in the back of his head. Looking all fire up. And I got this guy in a Walmart over there in TJ. Oh, I keep forgetting to tell you guys. One guy, he got close to me because... When I got a Walmart and I was starting to record and showing the pickups what I got from inside the store, and he saw me right there recording. And after I was done, he just said to me, are you a YouTuber? And my mom told him, how you know? Because I saw that he was recording that, showing the toys that he just bought inside. So what I did, I showed my channel and he took a picture. And I hope that guy became a subscriber to my channel. And all that what I said, I'm going to say it in Spanish, but in the comments down below. Okay, so now let's get on with the accessories that this guy came with. And here are the accessories the figure comes with. So we get a exact same stand like the other Fortnite figures come. Like I said, there's really nothing, just some pegs. And the name of the game right there in the front side, you guys can see it. And there's really nothing in the back side at all. And he also comes with this backpack as well. I really love the design and the color. And you can see the walkie-talkie right there. And some little bit of red color here in the back. In this side. And also in the top side as well. I really love the added these little pockets around it. Some detail right there. And also in the back. You can see in the middle of the peg. And here's the peg so you can attach it on the figure's back. And you see the buckles right there in the bottom and more detail with some gray color around it. Man, this is so good. And you also comes with a pair of these guns and they look great. I love the model and the silver color they added in each one. And each one has a exact same detail and some little bit of sculpting right there in the back, like right there in the bottom. And more sculpting right here in the tip. And each one has some black color in the bottom. Man, they done an amazing job on these guns. I love them a lot. They came out so awesome. And what I like about the figures of Fortnite that some of them comes with this type of weapon. And they done an amazing job on this piece. Especially love the nice shiny red color they added in the top of it. And also in the bottom. And you can see some detail where the figure can hold it. And not bad what they done here in the middle. And you can see that right here they added some teeth and looking great. And a little bit of detail in the front. And they added an eye right here. And also in the bottom. And... They're not pointing both bottom and top. Man, the red color is very nice. I love it. Okay, so now let's get back with the figure. And here's Inferno again. And I'm going to start out with the head sculpt because they put a lot of good detail on it. And just like his weapon here, they put the exact same red color on his face. You can see all that shining part around it. You can see his eyes right there in the front. But you won't see his eyebrows or his lips. But you do see the crack right there in this side of his head. Looking great. And both sides of his head has some little bit of dark red color. You can see it here. And also some little bit of black color. Well, not black, but a little bit darker red right there in the bottom of his chin. 
but I love this amazing fire effect that he has on the back of his head. Now, this is a good work of art from McFarlane Toys. I just really love it a lot. Look at all that good sculpting to the side and the bottom and also on the back side right here in the tip when I'm touching it. It has a little bit of orange color and a little bit of yellow color in the middle and more sculpting here and also in the bottom as well. I just like his under black shirt right there because you can see that his shirt has some buttons and they're all sculpted. You can see a line and his red tie. I just love the color of his tie. And you can see some detail around his neck that you guys can see. I just love his red suit. I used to have a suit just like it, but it was white. And my suit had some pockets. And are these you can see the lines and also right here in the top you can see more buttons in this side but not in this side more detail in the top of his red suit you can see a little bit of open right there and also right here and the back open shirt or suit some lines here and there's the peg so you can attach the backpack on it and the sleeves, there's really not a lot to talk about because it's not a single wrinkle, but except here in the bottom, but in the back, more buttons. But these are small that you can't even see it because they're also red, just like his suit here. And same thing on his pants, doesn't have not a single detail like wrinkles, but it does have a little bit like right there in the top of his pants and also in the back of it. But it does feel kind of soft and, whoa, my mistake, his sleeves does have some little bit wrinkles, like right here in each side. And you can see in the top of his head has some cracks all around the face. Like I forgot to show you this piece. And you can see his black mafia shoes. Well, I think they use some type of color here because look, the black color on the shoes, you can see some shiny all around there. But it does have some little bit detail like you see the shoelaces in each one and same thing on his gloves like has a little bit detail on it but you can see his fingers his thumbs but there's really nothing from the inside of his hands. Now let's get on with his articulation. You can move his head side to side. He can look down. He can look up. Some ball joint. He can move his head around. You can open his arms as much, has some biceps swivel in each arm around, rotation in each arm, double joint around the elbow, and some wrist articulation. You can swivel it and bib it, but I don't think it has some torso articulation. Let me see it has some waist. Yep, waist articulation, you can move it back and forth. You can open his legs this much, kick a lot from the front, from the back, Double joint around the knee and some ankle articulation and also a little bit of articulation around his toes. Now, who's ready for some comparing size? But first, let's see how tall this figure stands. He stands just exactly seven inches tall. Here he is with my Marvel Legends Thor and you can see that he's taller than Thor. Here he is with my Spawn figure, and you can see that Spawn is a little bit taller than him. And here he is with my favorite Marvel celeb, Thanos. And there you have it, guys. I really love the red color they use on his suit and the design of his fire effect on his head. Especially love the red shiny color on his weapon and also on his face. Yep, this figure is very good. Okay, guys, so this is all for today. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you want to share this video, go ahead, be my guest, comment. But remember, do not leave any offensive comments or saying bad words. If you do that, your comment will be removed from this video. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of my videos like my toy hunts and my toy reviews. And please follow my Facebook page, CM Figures. Follow me on Twitter and follow me on Instagram. 
and catch you guys on the next video. So take care, be safe, keep on hunting, keep on collecting. I'll see you next time. This is Sukaima and Inferno, and we are out in line.